Yo, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another Two Minute Tuesday. In this video, I wanna show you how incredible RX9 is. I recorded an interview and this was the audio. Unfortunately, the lapel microphone I was using, there was an issue somewhere between the receiver, the transmitter, the microphone, something was wrong and this was the audio. So I do use like a mixture of old and new gear. Um, I actually use a few old programs. I use Cubase but that's just stuff I'm really comfortable with and I feel like I can use that without even thinking about it. So you can hear there, that's, in my opinion, unusable audio. But watch how easy it is to clean up with RX-9. So the first thing I want to show you is the voice denoise module. This comes in all versions of RX. So RX Elements, RX Standard, and RX Advanced. Now I'm using Advanced here, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything as a default and hit Render. And now listen to that audio. So I do use like a mixture of old and new gear. Um, I so that was a particularly bad part that sounds perfectly usable now. This is actually all from a backup microphone and it sounds more than fine now. Old programs, I use Cubase VSD5. And let's check out this other area over here. That's just stuff I'm really comfortable with and I feel like I can use that without even. Okay, so it's not really cleaned up that bit. Now there are some other modules we can use, but what I wanna do is go back to the original and I wanna bring up the Dialog Isolate module. Now this is where things get really good. So what I've got here is I wanna keep the Dialog at zero, so I don't wanna change the gain value there. I'm gonna take the noise and bring it all the way, just completely remove it. Sensitivity at 6.5, ambience pr preservation. So if like you record it outside and there's kinda of like birds chirping and you wanna keep that, you can introduce that there with that. This is in a room where I don't want any background noise, so I've completely removed it, and I've changed the quality to best. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit render. And now let's listen to those two problem areas. So I do use like a mixture of old and new gear. Um, I actually use a few old programs. And then remember, this was where it was bad before. That's just stuff I'm really comfortable with, and I feel like I can use that without even thinking about it. And so Dialog Isolate has really cleaned up this audio for me. Now Dialog Isolate has a brand new algorithm as of RX9 and it is only available in RX9 Advanced. But watch what happens if I now run the voice denoiser after having run Dialog Isolate. Because if you listen over here. So I do use like a mixture of old and new gear. Uh and then over here again. That's just stuff I'm really comfortable with and I feel like I can use that without even. There's still a little bit. But let's just again run the default setting of the voice denoise module. And now let's listen. So I do use like a mixture of old and new gear. Um, I actually use a few old. Pro Can't even, I mean, it's, it's perfectly usable. That's just stuff I'm really comfortable with. And I feel like I can use that without even thinking about it. So there is still something happening here and we could easily dive into things like spectral repair, spectral recovery, and even get in and manually highlight and remove some different frequencies. But that's outside the scope of this tutorial. I just wanted to show you a real world use case of using RX-9 in a production setting. So this is a video that has been done. It is completed and it is available to watch. I'll leave a link in the video description. But once you put a little bit of background music behind this, this vocal will sound like it was recorded in a pristine environment. Environment. And it's all attributed to RX9 and how wonderful its algorithms are. So anyway, that's just a quick example of one of the many, many uses of RX9 in a real world situation. Links to everything in the video description. As usual, I'm Joshua Gasper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.